Now, in this video, we will going to solve how to solve this problem number 42 from the projections of lines by using AutoCAD software. It will going to be read as a straight line capital PQ is 65 mm long is inclined at 45 degrees to HP and 30 degrees to VP. The point capital P is 70 mm from both the reference planes and point Q is towards the reference planes and draw the projections. So here we need not have to find the inclinations, but we need to write the front and top views. So how to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software. So first we'll go to AutoCAD screen, switch off the grid mode and switch on the auto mode. Now we'll go for command limits. So specify lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner is 297,210. Then go to zoom all. Now we'll go for line command, select some arbitrary point and click on first button of the mouse and drag the mouse towards the right side and take some distance and click on first button of the mouse and again you drag the mouse towards the top side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. Then go to offset, take the distance as 297, you select this vertical line and offset to the left side. Then go to the offset, take the distance as 210, select this horizontal line and offset to the top side Then go to zoom extends and then zoom 0.6x then go to fillet fillet between this vertical line and this horizontal line again fillet between these two and then again fillet between these two so this is how you will be able to create an a4 size shape or it's just a creating a simple rectangle now we'll go for line command so first we'll go for the layer First, we're going to create all the layers now. So go to new, click on type layer by name XY, click on new, type the layer by name print view, enter, click on new, type the layer by name top view, and enter, click on new, type the layer by name uh, locus, then click on new, type the layer by name true lines, TL. Now we're going to adjust the line thicknesses. So line 0 by default it will going to be as a projector lines it will be 0 0.05 and say xy it will be 0 0.13 and then uh, front view it will be 0 0.5 and say ok and the top view again it will be 0 0.5 so you take that 0 0.5 and then the locus it will be 0 0.1 0 0.05 and say ok then true length it will be 0 0.5 three and say okay now we'll go for the colors you we'll just go to front view it should be magenta color okay then the top view it will going to be red okay and then the true length will be of 30 index color 30 then uh, the line type you take locus continuous line type click on load Come down to dash dot and say OK and click on dash dot and say OK. So this is how you will be able to change all the layers, line weights and colors and depending upon and the line types, depending upon the requirement. Once you do that, you just close this. So now we are going to start creating the drawing. So first we will go for a line command, draw a horizontal log or line of any distance. And now we have drawn the XY line. So I want to take offset by 70 mm in both front and the top view. So go to offset, take the distance as 70 and you select this XY line and offset to the top side. Again offset, take 70 from here you take down. Then go to line, take nearest point on this and draw perpendicular to this line. So here you're going to get front fillet between these two. So fillet between these two. Then what you need is I want to draw a line at an angle of uh, 45 degree towards the XY line that is in clockwise direction of a length of 65. So to do that, so go to line, take intersection point of these two and then at the rate 65 less than minus 45 degree. So because it is clockwise measurement, it will be negative. You just click on this side. Now again, go to line. Take INT of this and take at the rate 65 less than counterclockwise direction is positive and take 30 degree 
and then you draw this then go to extend you select this line as the boundary and you select this and uh, you select this so we have got this now now we need to uh, take this till here and then this one till here and then draw the ox so to do that so first we will go to the front view photo line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this till here then go to fillet between this and this and go to circle take int of this and take intersection point of this so then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this so then go to trim between this line and this line and trim this portion now here and here then go to erase erase this so once you take this so we have taken the front view and you have got the top view to length now you want to go for the other direction so that means now you are going from q2 so you project this and you draw this arc so to do that so go to line take int of this and take perpendicular to this and then go to fillet between this line and this line and go to circle take int of this and take intersection point of this then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this then go to trim trim between this line and this line and trim this portion then go to erase erase this then go to break so now you break this locus now here so this is erase then similarly you break this from here on this side and similarly break from here on this side then go to erase erase this line till here then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this line so both we're going to lie on the same line so now we'll go for a break and break this xy line till here and xy line till here now once you do that now we're going to use and change the layers accordingly so to do that so first we'll go for this xy line go to ch go to layer to make this layer as xy so accordingly we're going to change this to the line weights so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click on this so these two should have the layer as true length so you just click on the true length so you just click on this line weight on so we just come down to this go to ch go to layer take this as front view so we got the front view similarly you just click on this go to ch go to layer make this as top view so you're going to get this top view then you select on this line and you select on this go to ch go to layer make this as locus and then go to line type scale you change it to line weight ch go to line type scale factor make it as 10 and then close this so once you do that so all these things have been changed now we will go for dimensioning tdim modify so linear dimension you make it zero and uh, go to texture uh, take the text height as three align with the dimension line you go to center is above so offset from the dimension line as two then go to symbols and arrows take the arrow size as three and go to lines take the offset from the origin as two and say okay and say close now we go for dim so we are going to take uh, the intersection point of this and take intersection point of this so we are going to get 70 then similarly zoom previous so we go to zoom previous then uh, dim again you take int of this and you take int of this so we are going to get 70 here then uh, switch off this ortho mode then uh, take int of this and take intersection point of this 
So any one of these uh, true length you have to specify, you will specify here, then go to angular dimension, select between these two, so you got to get it as 30 degree and similarly angular dimension, select between these two, so you got to get it as 45, then go to angular dimension, so you take a uh, angular again, select between these two and go to text, give space bar and enter, so dimension or line location. Then again, angular dimension, select between this line and this line. So here go to text, give space bar and don't. So what by doing this, the dimension text 45 will not be written there and it will just give the blank space and you just click over this and go to zoom window. So you come down escape and come down to zoom window. Now we will go for dim TED text edit dimension. You are going to take this, you keep it here. Then you take this and you keep it here. So now this is how we will be able to draw, uh, show the dimensions once you do that. So now we will go for leaders. Now. So go to leader. So here, we have taken the projections like uh, from here and you have come like this. So you go to leader nearest point on this, go to annotation option none. Now we have taken this. So go to leader nearest on this side and you take it on this side annotation option none. Now we'll just switch on this ortho mode. So here go to leader, take nearest. So we we'll take this on this side. Addition option. Now we're going to take this leader nearest point on this side and you take annotation option. Go to explore, select this and go select this and you select this and you select this then go to erase erase this line and again erase this line erase this line and erase this line now we'll go for detext so here you mark this as uh, 3 x and you mark this as y and you mark this as vp and you mark this as hp and this as a capital P which is in bracket and this will be capital Q in bracket so here we have locus of Q and here we have a capital P again and here you have capital Q and here you have a locus of Q and then you put out the caps lock type P dash here it is Q dash, here it is small p, here it is small q, and then uh, Q2 dash here. So here you mark this as uh, Q2, and this is Q2 dash, and uh, here it is Q1, and here, sorry, Q1 dash, and here it is Q1. So this is how you will be able to write the uh, text then go to zoom previous so take zoom window and now you move it appropriately so go to move so you make this p and place it nearer like this so similarly q1 and you mark this q and here uh, this q2 will come here this is the locus of q and this is capital q and this is small q and this is hp and this is vp and this is x and this is y so now all the dimension all the things have been moved in the top view now we'll go to the front so go to the front and move it accordingly so go to p dash so again p so here uh, we get q2 dash here this is going to be the locus of Q 
so this will be q capital q so this will be q1 dash and this will be p dash and now you just go to m text so here you take this as a window oh. then you are going to get to formatting go to arial formatting come down to this you take symbol take symbol and type alpha a small letter a so you are going to get alpha then uh, you just copy this till here so you bring this here then go to dd edit and edit the dimension or uh, edit the text and you make this as small letter b which will going to give you beta then go to zoom window now you just come down to zoom window so now you try to change the text now so this is the vertical plane so you take p dash q dash then uh, q1 dash q locus of q go to ch go to layer make this as front view now similarly you just click on this so e q1 q2 locus of q and this small q go to ch go to layer to make this as top view then you just click on p and q click on this capital p and capital q go to ch go to color and change this color to blue so that indicates that you are in the true length so true length is same in both in front view and as well as in the top view so we will go to notice in, the, in this color so this is how you will be able to solve this problem and this is something very similar to the one which has been already done here so this is how we will be able to solve this problem and now in the uh, this I'll just show the zoom window and take it near to the screen. So this is your final solution by doing in AutoCAD screen, AutoCAD software. Thank you.